Hello. In this video, I will show you how to create models uh, with 3D Slicer and how to export them. Um, let's take a look at uh, this case. So I made a reconstruction of uh, the liver, pancreas, uh, the um, portal vein, and the aorta, and uh, the, the spleen, and uh, the gastric duct, as you can see here. Uh, this patient has a pancreas division. Um, so um, let's say I want to uh, to export uh, these models and maybe um, um, uh, do something with it uh, uh, in Blender, for example, or for three D pl printing. Um, alors, so you have to <coughs> sorry to click on here next to segmentation and import export nodes. Okay, and then you have to go here, export, output type, you click models, and you click export to new model hierarchy. You click export, and nothing change, but if I unselect this things one after the one after the other, you can see it, uh, it is still uh, displayed. So now you go in models, and you have a new segmentation model, and you have everything in here. And uh, so you just created your models. Uh, now you can change color or uh, opacity, for example. Uh, you could uh, do this even before uh, in uh, segment editor. So let's uh, set to normal opacity. And uh, now, if you want to export them, you just have to click on save and now you choose what you want to save and uh, and the, the, the file where you want to save it so I want to save these models in wavefront object format you can choose uh, any one you want um, and I choose where I want to save in new folder I created I click save and I go to my new folder Okay, now I have all these files. Um, these files at uh, the 3D object format uh, are the dot .obj uh, ob files. Uh, it's, it's a contain the, the model. And I think the MTL files probably uh, contain the, the color or some information like that. You don't want to delete this file uh, to, to open them in, in other uh, uh, softwares. So I just uh, opened the uh, Blender, uh, and now I want to uh, import my files. So I uh, click uh, File, Import, and uh, I choose uh, Wavefront Object. And once I uh, I am uh, in the right folder, uh, I uh, I choose uh, the ones I want to to import. So maybe uh, let's try the author. And as you can see. I have now the outer. Uh, let's import uh, the files. So you you want to import the dot obj uh, uh, files, obviously. Let's wait a little bit. Okay. Okay. Now I think I got everything I need. Uh, and I can do uh, whatever I want uh, on the on these models. Okay, to black. Um, I'm not an expert in uh, using Blender, but if you want to to do uh, um, things with this uh, software, you can uh, take a look at uh, uh, Blender Guru tutorials. Uh, they are pretty amazing, and you can fi find it on on YouTube. I will put the link in the video description. Um, it can be useful, uh, for example, if you uh, want to um, uh, to publish some article and you want to uh, to have nice uh, reconstructions uh, in your article. Uh, for example, we did uh, this one. Uh, I used uh, 3D Slicer for uh, making the 3D models and Blender uh, to make uh, light effects uh, and things like this. Um, Maybe you can use it for presentations or anything you want. You can have better images uh, if you uh, you do uh, if.
confuse a little a bit Blender, but it's not an obligation and you can make nice things uh, just with a 3D slicer. For example, uh, you can uh, use uh, this tool for uh, creating the image. You can use uh, all the layout, only the 3D view or uh, whatever slices you want. And you can change the uh, scale factor for increase or decrease the, the resolution, rename it and click OK and it would create a screenshot of uh, of this. Uh, for example, I can choose only the 3D view. Uh, scale factor, I can set it to 2. Um, I call it 3D view and I click OK. Now I have to save it. Which it, it's here, so I can unselect it. I select it, save. And now I go to my new folder and I got the 3D view uh, in here. And yeah, okay, yeah, it's a bug uh, in here. And you can do uh, one more thing. Um, if you want to uh, change uh, the, the view you are getting, you can click on here and uh, change uh, some settings uh, in here. You can remove uh, the 3D cube in purple here and the 3D axis label. Uh, you can put a black background, a white background, um, probably a set marker like this. Uh, I can uh, maybe let you uh, try uh, this at home. Um, and uh, one interesting thing is, uh, I think, you can uh, change uh, settings right here. So, for example, uh, you can set uh, points if you want, uh, but it's not very uh, useful. But what is uh, what is nice is that you can change the front. You can set it on front facing or back back facing, and we will have uh, this kind of view. If you want to see uh, the inside of the, the object, okay, uh, it can be uh, nice for maybe the pancreas to see the vas duct. You can see uh, the vas duct. Um, and uh, you, uh, you can uh, try uh, whatever you want. Uh, uh, here we are here, and you will see uh, some changes. Uh, just just try, and you will uh, uh, eventually get uh, what what you what you want. So thanks for watching the video, and if you have uh, any question or suggestion, of course uh, you can uh, write a comment, and I will try to to answer it.